Daily Mount, uh, the one all draw against Shelburne. Rory Feely will go with a long throw this time. Chris Tordick is in there. Brian Marr comes out with the punch. It'll come out to Grant Horton, who shoots from distance, and it takes a fantastic save from Brian Marr. And we just talked about how he had a bit of an eye for goal in the last game, and he came oh so close there to putting it 1 0 to Bohemians. There you come forward with Shane McElhaney. Brother Patrick on the bench, both of them rejoining Derry. And here come Derry City now with Brandon Kavanagh and the ball across is a dangerous one. And it'll eventually just go out for a throw in. Yeah, Brandon Kavanagh with the ball in there. Uh, Jamie McGonagh will be disappointed to get, get his foot to that in behind the Bohemians defence. Great move by Derry City. And a uh, good move by McGonagall. Just the ball bobbed over his foot. Tough chance to actually put it past the, the international keeper. He'll give it a go though. Gets it over the wall and it wasn't far away. No, super free kick. Um, it was dipping, just didn't dip quick enough. Uh. In the end he comes back. He had Ali Coote inside of him but couldn't find him. Nice ball forward from Feely finds Jordan Flores. Good hold up play from Flores. 1-2 with Ali Coote. Inside to Liam Burst. This is li nice passing play from Bohemians. Ali Coote into Promise. Coot into Liam Burt they could be in here Burt can he get the shot away what a goal that's what I'm talking about pass around the dirty seat defence and they get their opportunity and what a fantastic goal I think there was about 10 pass and that moving off the ball and what a finish yeah you said it Dave all, you all they needed to do was get the ball down and pass it through Derry and they just showed that there working it right the way through Ali Coot was involved Rory Feely was involved Jordan Flores and Promise all in the all in the goal and Liam Burt great composure as well to bring the ball onto his right foot he still had the time still had the space and found his corner as Ronan Boyce does well to keep that in play Brandon Kavanagh coming across but Car Connor Levinson gets there first Ali Coote across to Jordan Flores we know he likes to hit them and he's got it onto his left foot and again Whoa, draws the save from Brian Maher who's had a lot to do in this first half yeah Brian Maher two fantastic uh, long range shots he saved from uh, Horton and uh, now Flores Janet looking to switch the play over to McElhaney on the right hand side he comes back inside and there'll be another ball on again it's McGonagall looking for it and he's done a good job to turn away there good shot and James Talbot with the touch around the corner I'm sure Bowes weren't, wouldn't have been expecting to be battling with Rover in the similar league position but that has been the start to the season so far Horton, that's not a great header from him. Kavanagh's picked up the ball. Goes all the way back to McJanus. That's a good cross from McJanus and a great header. And Derry have equalised. Yeah, it's a fantastic ball. Like you see Kavanagh there, he was over the right hand side there a few minutes. Now he's over the left hand side. Great ball back. Great ball in. As I said, the ball in behind him. We're always going to get caught. Uh, inviting the pressure on Bohemians. And great movement by... Uh, the Derry attack on a fantastic header. Great goal. Yeah, it is a great header and a great goal. Derry, the Derry fans like the, the sparklers. They'll be happy with that one. Those players have a word with themselves. And we did say two of these games ended one all last year. We have a one all scoreline at the moment. The goal was always going to come and find that pressure. Like You have to keep playing the way you were playing to get your first goal. Like when you're fighting teams on like that, and when Matt, and Matty Smith and Pats from McElhaney coming on also, like they were always going to get a chance, and they took it. Yeah, both teams going for the now here the last five minutes. But you see the comments of Brian Maher plucking the ball out of the sky and starting to uh, attack with Aka one day. And here's Matty Smith. Lovely little turn inside from, away from Twardek, and he forced the save from James Talbot. Yeah, Twardek has been in the game going forward for Bohemians, and even. It's defending there. That's too easy for Matty Smith to go by him like so. Fantastic late opportunity for Derry to grab a goal. We're into the last dying embers of this game. In the cross will come. It'll go to the far side and it's in. It's James Akintunde. James Derry have scored a last minute winner. Just like they did at this in this fixture last year. The flares are lit, the Derry fans celebrate. They've travelled so far to see their team and they've just proven why. Yeah, 
It's silly uh, free kick from Rory Feely. I'd say Key Long. I'll give him a bollock in there after the game. Uh, he was going nowhere. He's forced him back and he just fell to, fell to the attacker and he invites the, the ball in the, the last few seconds of the game. Like. There, a lapse of concentration and James Akintunde off the bench in the week of his birthday has given himself a fantastic birthday present. There's the full-time whistle. Boos ring around Daly Mount Park. The home fans are not happy with their team. The away fans will be delighted with theirs. They win another game which will keep them top of the League of Ireland Premier Division for another round of fixtures. Yeah, massive one for us. Um, huge credit to the players uh, and the impact of the substitutions had, had a huge um, effect on the game. So now we're delighted. I think first half Bows had a real purple patch in the game, tested our keeper a few times and put us under pressure. Uh, but it felt first half, we, we finished the half really strong and then we've continued that for the second 45 minutes and, and, and pinned Bohemians in and, and um, I think over the course of the game I think we've deserved the three points.